Brian Flynn again. I wanted to do another song today, uh, but I wanted to lighten things up a little bit. Uh, everything that we're dealing with is way too serious for us to be serious all the time about it, so I thought we might try to have a few lighter moments together. <clears throat> My family and friends know that uh, in a galaxy far, far away a long time ago, uh, I used to be a rear admiral. Assistant Surgeon General in the United States Public Health Service. Uh, and I wanted to dedicate uh, this song today to all of the healthcare workers uh, and public health workers in this country, in Canada, and all around the world. Uh, you are doing amazing, amazing work to keep us all safe and healthy. And um, I can't thank you enough. Uh, in fact, over the last uh, month or so, uh, I found myself wishing that I was back in uniform uh, again, but I'm, I'm way too old uh, for that at this point. Uh, but uh, the, the thought was there. So I had the idea for a little while that I, I might record this song in my uniform. But uh, I can't fit in it anymore. I'm ashamed to admit that, but it's true. So I'm giving you the best I can. I got one of my shirts. And I even found somewhere on a shelf my old cover. So folks, this is as close as we're gonna to get to seeing me again in uniform. So I wanna do a song that uh, has a health education uh, message to it. You're gonna to have to wait till the end to figure out what it is. So trust me and, and bear with me, uh, but here it goes. Uh, I gotta stop. I can't do this. <laughs> I have to take the hat off. <laughs> I'm having an anxiety attack. <laughs> After being my mother's son for 60 years and 31 years in uniform in the, in the public health service, I get an anxiety attack every time I wear a hat inside. Uh, you just don't do that either in the house that I grew up with or in the public health service. So. Uh, we're going to have to skip the hat. <laughs> well, a farmer's dog once came to town by the Christian name of Pete. He was a hound of high renown and his looks were hard to beat. As he walked into the city, it was a beautiful sight to see. His work on every corner and his mark on every tree. Well, the city dogs stood looking on with a deep and envious rage just to see this simple country dog, the peddler of the age. They sniffed him over one by one, and they sniffed him two by two. But noble Pete in high disdain stood still till they were through. And as they sniffed him over, their praise for him ran high. When one sniffed him underneath, he filled in his eye. Just to show them city dogs that he didn't give a damn He strolled into the grocery shop and he piddled on the ham He piddled on the onions and he piddled on the floor When the grocer kicked him out he piddled on the door Well behind him all the city dogs debated what to do They'd hold a piddling contest to show him who's who well, they showed Pete all the piddling posts that they knew about the town. And they started off with many a wink.
pocket just to get the poor dog down. But Pete was with them every trick, with vigor and with vim. A thousand piddles, more or less, were all the same to him. And on and on went no Pete, hind leg kicking high. Most were lifting, legging, bluffing, piddling mighty dry. And on and on went Noble Pete as he watered every sand hill. All the city champions were piddled to a standstill. Now Pete an exhibition gave on all the ways to piddle. Like double drips and fancy flips and now and then a dribble. And through it all, this country dog did neither wink nor grin. He just piddled blindly out of town as he had piddled in. The city dog said, so long, Pete, your piddling did defeat us. No one ever put them wise that he had diabetes. So again, that's dedicated to all the healthcare and public health workers around the world, and especially to those folks in the Commission Corps of the United States Public Health Service. I'm proud. So wash your hands, don't touch your face,